Good morning, family. Today, I thought to myself, I literally carry my sister everywhere with me because I'm always wearing her clothes. <laughs> so I love you, Nanda. See mommy looking all pristine, classy. Give them a twirl, mama. Give them a twirl. Oh, wow. The Doramite herself. <laughs> okay, we're going to explore. It's a beautiful day in Durham. Everything you want. Exactly. God is good and kind to us. I tell you. <laughs> I came out and discovered that the wind is blowing, blowing, blowing. So I need to wear some shorts under this this dress. So we are in the city center, checking for shorts, and I can't see anything like cycle shorts. When all else fails, come to the sports store. Ooh, it's graduation season. No wonder the streets are full. That looks like the king gave it to Mermaid. <laughs> oh my goodness, I need to show you guys this bridge. This bridge right here was the bridge of love. <laughs> and that Thai restaurant there used to be like all you can eat buffet. I was in there, bro. I was in there. This is where we used to roll. Yeah, we used to go down those steps and then walk by the river. And that's the cathedral over there. How sweet. Oh, all the memories are coming back to me. And this hill right here. There's a hill that leads up to school. And the thing is, Durham is a very interesting city because it is also where, like, one of the major universities in the UK is. So, a lot of students used to live in like these accommodations. I always used to look at them like, y'all, what are y'all up to? That hill used to seem so impossible. But my mom made it. <laughs> So cute. So we are definitely getting closer to school. I can tell it's in the turning over there. We are approaching. Yeah. I was gonna say, I thought there was a walkway down here. This is Pimlico House. That used to be my former boarding house. And this is the walkway down here where we used to go down to the river. I'm actually gonna walk after the tour. So cool. This is the main quad, one of the boys' houses. I'm not meant to be videoing the students. This was my zone. <laughs> Look at your girl. <laughs> so cool, yes. Yeah, this is this brings back the memories. And I wanna see the board. That's what I wanted. <laughs> the economics board. See that far, Jesus. There I am. Oh my goodness. So cool. All the prizes. This was what I said, you know what, before I leave the school, I'm going to get my name on one of these boards. <laughs> so now, is the school called Corriste or what's it's called Durham Cathedral? The, school, the whole like, schools together is called uh, DCSF, Durham Cathedral Schools Foundation. Okay. Um, but there are two schools within it, there's Durham School and Corriste School. Okay, so okay. Durham School is still the senior school, ages 11 to 18, and then Corriste School is ages 3 to 
Okay. Building. Goodness, I was never good at sports, so <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like this field. <laughs> this was where they used to play all the rugby. The marquee is obviously here for the event, but so nice. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Chapel says the classic. Wow. Look at us. This was what we used to do three times a week. Come up here for assembly. Cathedral facing us. School looking so gorgeous. So we used to sit right in this front row because we were prefects. Wow. Smells the same. Gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. Floriata Nelmia. So stunning. <laughs> oh wow. They pay attention to detail here. Names carved into the chairs. Like it's an honor. Definitely. Grand organ. Look at that. I wish school was in session. You would hear how like grand it is. Amazing. The choir was always so amazing. I'm sure they still are. <laughs> Organize you are though. So intentional. Smoking is not allowed till now. <laughs> so the girl is the oldest building. Look at that garden. Look at the baby sheep. <laughs> yeah. Wow. How beautiful are these flowers? You would be so happy to come here. So are students allowed to just come and chill in the garden? Oh, who is it for? Oh, nice. Oh yeah, this was where the staff quarters yeah. were. Attention to everything. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I can't even explain how I'm feeling right now. This is so emotional and it's such an honor to be back here. Everybody's like so excited to see me and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, how cool. Thank you, God. Don't take it for granted. Can you hear me?
from boots and oh I just see another black person okay so there's definitely more diversity going on here I love that but I was saying that um, yeah I just wanted to get some lashes and the lady at the till was so sweet she was just um, like talking to me asking me what am I here for and I was explaining to her you know the speech day and all and she was like oh it's such an honor that I must be I must have done something right you know and I feel like you just feel so appreciated when you're here like you know you're encouraged to like do your best and be your best and you're celebrated for it it's not like corrupt politicians and businessmen that are celebrated like in nigeria just like genuine honest effort is celebrated here and i love that for us i love that yeah should we try that Reunited with my mama. In the coat of many colors that my mother made for me. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Thank you. You too. <laughs> We're up in Africa. Mm -hmm.
warm welcome to Durham Cathedral, the shrine of St. Cuthbert of Lindisfarne and the shrine of the Venerable Bee. She demonstrated integrity, strength, compassion and loyalty while she was with us. My predecessor, Martin George, was even more effusive in his praise, saying Naku has grace, charm, humour and modesty. On top of this is a determination to succeed and a willingness to work incredibly hard. In the relatively short time that Naku's been away from school, she's had a huge impact both in the UK, where she studied, and back home in Lagos. She's very much an inspirational figure for young women and girls of Nigeria, but would also be an inspiration to those Canelians sitting in the audience today. In particular, the Butterfly Effect programme operates on the simple premise that small changes can have great consequences, a message which I'm sure will resonate with everybody sitting here today. Welcome again, Aku, and we look forward to hearing from you later. Change, whether big or small, has been much at the forefront of life at the Foundation for the past few years. We are still emerging from the stresses and strains of the COVID pandemic and the effects, both short term and long term, on pupils and their education are yet to be fully realised. More locally, as Mr Ribchester said, we're finishing the second year of the Durham Cathedral Schools Foundation, which has been a significant change to the landscape of independent education in Durham. We are also entering a period of imminent change in the country, with increasing pressures on the independent sector, which will be both financial and political. Throughout all of these changes, what will get us through will be an adherence to our values and the education we believe in. Mark, moral integrity, ambition, responsibility and kindness underpin everything that we do at the Foundation, and that of course includes our pupils. This year, perhaps more than any other year, I was struck, struck when recently conducting monitor interviews just how much store is set by the pupils in those values. Quite naturally and unprompted, when I asked the pupils what they felt the ethos of the school was, they responded almost in one voice that Mark values were not just prominent around the school, but actually truly lived. I would also add that this was spotted by the ISI inspection team who visited us in the Easter term. At the risk of being one of those heads who is sceptical about ISI until they receive an excellent report, it was genuinely heartening to hear how struck the inspectors were by how we put into practice our mark values across all of the activities they saw at school. Baby, you 